Good morning. Um, I am presenting this work on behalf of uh, my colleague that uh, um, didn't attend this, um, didn't manage to attend this um, um, conference today. So um, the work is uh, on um, the web micro portal that they have developed in the framework of the one project. One is the acronym of um, uh, Web Health Application and ADHD Monitoring. Um, this is a, a two-year project funded by the European Commission in the um, uh, learn, Lifelong Learning Program. And the main aim of uh, the project is to uh, foster the um, application of uh, cognitive behavioral treatment for the uh, ADHD children. And um, if you want more information about this project, I, uh, there are some um, uh, leaflet at the desk, at the registration desk, so uh, you can get some more information from there. Uh, one of the main aim of the, um, this project uh, is the uh, one of the main outcomes of this project is the one service and that has the aim of um, supporting the network of uh, um, parents, teachers, and health professionals that are in touch with uh, children with uh, ADHD disorder. And uh, um, these one services uh, um, support the network in uh, uh, every uh, everyday life of the uh, ch children. So in everyday context, like uh, schools and all um, our home and uh, uh, social uh, environment. The um, micro portal that uh, I'm going to present. Um, as two main aim, or aims. One of, of, of this aim is, the, um, is to provide an, um, um, information about the use of the uh, one application that is, uh, uh, that is a, an application, a uh, web-based application and a mobile application that support the network in applying the uh, cognitive behavioral treatment for the ADHD children. And the other, um, the other aim of the portal is to um, describe information and provide information on what the ADHD is and uh, uh, how it's possible to detect uh, the behavior connected to this disorder. Um, so the um, architecture of the micro portal is uh, uh, strictly uh, is strictly reflecting this, the, the aims of the portal. So we will found a, a section um, concerning the, uh, uh, the concerning a guided tour um, that explore how to um, use the functionalities uh, provided by the app and. Uh, Another section is more focused on uh, in providing information. Um, so it is an informative section on uh, the four uh, pr principal topics that have been um, developed during the project. Um, in particular, these are the um, ADHD information in general, the assessment process that have been implemented in the, in the project, and uh, the intervention based on the cognitive based uh, um, and uh, functional behavioral assessment and, and the training part. Uh, well, the best thing is, I think, is to <laughs> go directly to the uh, portal and have a look inside. Um, I don't know if it is clearly displayed, but yeah, the um, address of the portal is app.oneproject.eu. And um, as I saw, the, uh, the, as I said, the, 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 uh, for the main uh, sections of this portal are the tour session and the ADHD section. In the tour session, uh, we found the um, main um, information about uh, the functionality offered by the app. And in particular, there are six uh, main uh, functionalities that uh, are um, 
related to the um, construction of the network of people working with a specific case under analysis. And there are some, um, uh, th there is another functionality related to the identification of uh, uh, the behavior of uh, um, children affected by the ADHD. Uh, another section is on the, the observation of the behavior. And then we have uh, the um, identification um, of, the, uh, and of the meaning of the behavior. In this case, the ABC model has been applied. Uh, the ABC model um, is the uh, model based on, uh, an, on uh, detecting antecedent. Uh, and consequence of the target behavior. So um, uh, this information related to the antecedents and the, uh, the consequence uh, um, connected to a specific behavior are, are collected. Um, then there are other functionality related to the intervention and the evaluation of the results. For each of this, uh, um, of this section, we have uh, more um, um, specific um, more specific uh, part related to videos on uh, uh, that explain how to use and how to uh, run this uh, uh, this specific uh, um, functionalities on on the software in order to uh, simplify the use of uh, of the application. Because uh, as I said before, this application is not for uh, specialists, it's not for technicians. It's something that has to be used by uh, parents. Uh, observing the, their child at home or by, stu uh, by teachers uh, that observing the uh, behavior of um, uh, critical behavior of children and by uh, specialists. For these reasons, the, uh, the, the, the aim of this portal was to uh, provide information in a simple way, uh, avoiding also um, a terminology to related to uh, specialists or to um, medical aspect of the of the this disorder. The, the second section of, uh, um, the second main session of this micro portal um, is um, um, related to the uh, ADHD and to the, um, um, the theory that is at the basis of, um, the, um, um, of the work that uh, have been carried out in the uh, one project. Um, this part can be uh, um, ca can be navigated in two way, uh, in a horizontal way and a vertical way. It means that uh, as a, a horizontal way, we we will have some um, um, basic information with um, simply basic and simple information about uh, ADHD, how to detect it, it uh, observing a, um, a specific behavior at home, at school, or in the social environment of children. Children. And there are also uh, other information uh, already um, again expressed in a um, simply way related to the uh, uh, assessment process, and uh, other information related to the intervention and, uh, and training. And for so in a horizontal way, um, you can go through this section and get some basic information about uh, uh, all these aspects uh, um, related to the ADHD. But for, is, for each uh, section, there are also uh, more specific uh, uh, information uh, that can uh, help uh, help the network in finding relevant information related to these aspects. And in particular, this, uh, uh, th this uh, um, content has been selected by uh, um, scientific research or, or um, uh, um, uh, relevant experience uh, connected to the ADHD. So um, uh, we have uh, already um, uh, we have already uh, analyzed and collected this uh, uh, this information that uh, you can find some um, relevant content uh, um, that comes from the specialist uh, uh, in this area. And uh, for these reasons, uh, 
for uh, for these reasons, the, uh, the this portal can be useful both from um, um, teachers or uh, parents that are, are uh, not familiar with the scientific term, with the meaning of uh, uh, some scientific terms, but it's also useful for, um, um, for, for it's also for useful for uh, health professionals that want to uh, improve their knowledge on this uh, on, on, on this, this star because uh, um, this, this content have been uh, selected and um, uh, and collected uh, considering the uh, main um, source for, for related to the ADHD uh, disturb. The portal will be available in four uh, um, language and uh, um, yes, I think that uh, uh, Italian is already done and you can find this information yeah, also in, uh, uh, in 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 Italian in the other language of uh, of the project. Um, that's all for my side because it's, uh, the um, presentation of this micro portal is micro portal, so it's a micro presentation for <laughs> yeah, just to. Actually, I think it's difficult to find questions <laughs> for a portal, by the way. Uh, I yeah. Sorry. The first question is about the ethical issues, uh, mm. because uh, you are monitoring kids and uh, how... Um, yes, it's a good question, a really good question. Uh, as far as I know, the, in the uh, one project, the, the uh, uh, children have uh, identified by, uh, um, um, well, um, when you use the app application uh, and you create the network of people operating uh, in a specific case, um, you define the people that uh, can work on that case, uh, so um, we don't have ethical issue because in this network uh, uh, are involved only parents, uh, teachers that already know that uh, uh, this type of the, the children and uh, uh, health specialists that work with the, with the, with the child. So, um, and only the people that are authorized to do uh, and to collect this information can enter in the network. They are not automatically included. So uh, you can also create a, a, a network only considering the parents and the health specialists without including teachers if you want. So uh, from one side, uh, the uh, information are accessible only to the people that, uh, um, yeah, uh, that already know the, uh, the case. So, um, and also uh, parents uh, and uh, health specialists agree on this uh, kind of, uh, um, on sharing this information because they know that uh, it's for the healthy of uh, its child. So um, it's something that is useful uh, to, to share. Uh, on the other hand, we are also considering to uh, uh, create uh, an ontology to, uh, uh, yes, to um, uh, uh, widen the uh, access to the data collected in, during the uh, one experimentation. Uh, and in that case, um, we want to anonymize the data because uh, the approach that uh, uh, has been followed by the one project uh, it's as I said before, it's based on the functional behavior uh, assessment, and uh, is, this approach works uh, very well if you have uh, a lot of data. So, um, uh, more data you collect, more data, uh, more uh, the um, uh, the approach is useful. So, it would be really important to collect and share the data uh, coming from different cases. But at the same time, as you said, we can't share all the information because some information are really uh, critical and really, um, with, uh, yes, really private. So um, uh, 
we have to uh, uh, found the trade-off between the uh, accessibility of this information for the research community and, and but at the same time uh, we have to consider the privacy of uh, the people involved in the experimentation. Thank you very much and um, that's uh, the pass for the, for the second question. How many, how many um, subjects how many? Oh, how, many subjects, how many participants do you have? Because mm -hmm. it's very difficult to, to make an intervention or to make ex, an experiment with a, such type of, of uh, such a target group. Yeah, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not easy to um, to uh, find? find. Yes, uh, especially because uh, uh, not always people recognize that uh, or want to admit that your child is affected by this uh, um, this disturb that uh, I um, want to highlight that is not a, a disease it's a, it's a, a disturb of on the behavior so uh, some um, parents are not uh, keen in uh, in saying that uh, his, his child is affected by this disturb uh, by the way we have um, uh, fortunately we have um, uh, created some connection with the um, pediatric hospital in Palermo and uh, I know that other people other partners in the project are doing the same in their in their city in order to collect uh, uh, cases uh, and to um, undertake some experimentation with the real case um, because the um, the health specialists that we contacted were really excited by the the one application and the results of the one project because uh, it doesn't exist uh, um, yes it, it exists something but uh, it is uh, um, targeted uh, uh, to specialists and not to um, common people the social uh, aspects are not considered in uh, many applications the network uh, aspects are not considered while in this case is really really important because uh, uh, you have to observe the uh, behavior of the ch children uh, in uh, every context, at school, at, um, uh, at home, um, and uh, when it is uh, uh, analyzed by the, uh, the health specialist. So it's uh, really important to have uh, uh, an application that uh, is not uh, designed only for uh, uh, specialists, but is designed also for uh, uh, parents or uh, <laughs> teachers that often don't have uh, um, good uh, technical background. Uh, and um, the network, uh, networking aspect is really important because it's important to uh, uh, collect this data coming from the different contexts in which the uh, child, child, uh, child be, behave. Thank you very much. Do you, yes. I, uh, could you please open the... Yes, but now it's I would like to capitulate on your previous query about the ethical issues when we democratize and popularize research with uh, traces. Uh, medical ethics prevent from um, giving exact details about a person's identity. But when we use extensively computer technology, there are traces left around and uh, by that we do not control, maybe they lead to some identity personification. Um, what happens when you use more and more extensively this kind of technologies you are promoting very successfully, I must say? I think it's an open question. <laughs> it's, a, it's really uh, hard to uh, to provide an answer to what happens if um, with the uh, individual data. I think that is something that uh, everybody working on medical informatics uh, can. Uh, Yes, I have to take, uh, I have to cope with because uh, um, collecting data, um, it's, it's uh, from one side is something really useful because uh, now the, at least from um, my point of view, uh, we are moving uh, more and more often uh, towards the um, evidence-based medicine in which uh, we have to use uh, data, not just observation. So it's really important to collect this data and use this data to, um, to define um, 
uh, um, a treatment uh, an intervention. But at the same time, we have to uh, take care of on the ethic, ethical, uh, ethical issues and, um, and the privacy. And uh, you know, when the um, informatics uh, is uh, employed, Nobody knows, uh, um, uh, always the bank, for instance, are attacked by, uh, <laughs> by hackers to get the information. So uh, I can't exclude that someone can, uh, um, yes, can uh, attack the, the, the system and <laughs> stolen the, the data. But the, 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 I think that the most important things that we are doing, the, um, um, the best to avoid any conflict with the ethical issue. So, Thanks, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, if I may comment on uh, the yeah. same topic, because uh, the Lab of Medical Physics is uh, a partner in this uh, project and this uh, and in the development of this application. Mm -hmm. uh, this application does not involve uh, therapy, does not involve mm -hmm. diagnosis. It is a tool for monitoring, it is an open tool for uh, uh, health professionals uh, and for parents to, to be able to monitor the, their children. And uh, apart from encryption and cryptography and all the tools that the, the video has described, we have, um, uh, in the terms and conditions of the application, uh, we advise people to only include nicknames of the children. So. Uh, over, even though if someone can, uh, would like to uh, try and find out the data, they cannot really uh, correlate this data to a specific person because only nicknames are involved. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you, so, Maria. And there is yeah. no real, uh, uh, there is no, okay. it's not a centralized, mm -hmm. uh, it's not a centralized application that we are gathering the data, for example, in order to process them. This is, an, uh, this, uh, is a tool for uh, therapists so that they can um, uh, decide and discuss together with parents the interventions that they can uh, adopt, mm -hmm. uh, that they can uh, propose for the children. Yes, thank you. As I said, I, I am here on behalf of my colleagues, so <laughs> probably you know more <laughs> details on the application in, in per se. Are there more questions? Okay, thank you very much, uh, David. Thank you. Um,